Hey guys, this is Shainu. Today I'll be showing you how you can connect your Snowflake SQL API to Postman. So this is very easy, but it did take me a long time to figure out. Uh, I couldn't find a good YouTube video out there, so I'm hoping this video is gonna help you. And if it did, make sure you give me some coffee money in the Venmo ID that I'm gonna provide in the description below. <laughs> um, in, anyway, uh, I have a Snowflake server here and you wanna make sure you are a account admin in this uh, Snowflake server. And if you're someone who doesn't have access to it, uh, you know, Snowflake actually provide a free trial uh, with no catch apparently because they don't require you to put in your credit card information or anything like that. The username I have here is kind of a fake username. Um, so if you're someone like me, create a you know, fake Gmail account to uh, get the Snowflake server up and running. Anyway, let's go ahead and connect to Postman. So first thing you wanna do is you wanna go to Worksheets and then you wanna select the plus button here to create a new worksheet. And automatically it's going to name the file as the date stamp. We are not savages, so we're just gonna go ahead and rename this to configure OAuth just so we can make sure everything looks clean in our worksheet list. So once your uh, worksheet is created, these codes will be posted in the, in the description below. The first code I'm gonna be running is to make sure that my username has the sysadmin access. This is a very important piece of code uh, that's going to uh, let you use your username to authorize within Postman. So I'm gonna go ahead and run this code. Uh, all you have to do is control and enter to run uh, the line that you're in. So I'm gonna go ahead and go to the nest line and then create a security integration using this piece of code. Again, just gonna hit control and enter, going to run. The next thing we are going to do is we are going to describe the security that we just created. So we're just gonna write that code and run that. After running this describe security, uh, we wanna take some of these key variables and paste it into Postman. First thing we need is a link so I'm gonna go ahead and copy this link so that our post have a URL to post to. After the .com, you wanna put a slash and do API slash statements and then do control S to save that change. Once the change is saved, you wanna to go to authorization uh, and in the type dropdown, you wanna choose OAuth 2.0 and here you want to name your token something. So I'm just gonna name it OAuth token and then I'm gonna scroll down to fill in my callback URL. So the callback URL is this right here. You wanna make sure you copy and paste this link to for your callback URL. And the next thing we need to provide is the authorization endpoint. So let's go to our describe and then find OAuth authorization endpoint, select the link, copy that and paste it in. And we are going to do the same thing to get the token URL, which is just beneath it, OAuth token endpoint. You wanna select that, copy, and then paste. Scroll further down, and here is where you want to fill in your client ID and your secret. So the client ID is already here. So we will just copy that and then paste it here and then save that change. And now to get your tokens, you want to run this piece of code and you are going to get this result. What you really want is the OAuth client secret, not the secret two. So you wanna copy the value within that double quotes. So all the way up until here, copy that and then paste that in your client secret save the changes. Before we click on the get new access token, we need to run one more line of code. This is just granting the permissions to the sysadmin. We'll just do control and enter to run that. All right, now let's go back to our postman and uh, I wanna rename this real quick. All right, let's go ahead and select the get new access token. And what that will do is it's going to give you a little pop-up and we are going to put in our username and the password. So again, it's very important for you to run this piece of code, otherwise it's not gonna let you sign in, okay? All right, let's go back and do sign in, and it's going to let you know that, uh, you know, the demo what would like to access a Snowflake account, go ahead and hit allow for that, and you want to hit proceed, 
and then use token. So that when you click on use token, it fills in this uh, uh, token information and you can go ahead and now send your request in. So before we send in our request, I need to create a database, a data table and a schema so that we can you know, kind of see the result of our request in Postman. So let me go ahead and do that. So to create a new database and data table, we want to go to home and then you want to go to data and then you want to make sure that you select your name and then choose uh, switch role and choose sysadmin. And then in the databases, you want to go ahead and create a new database. So this is going to create it under sysadmin. This is very important to do. Otherwise, when you're trying to retract the data from your uh, request, it's not going to work. So let's go ahead and name it YouTube tutorial. Oops, I cannot have space. And then I'm going to go ahead and create that database. And within the database, we're going to have to go ahead and create a schema, call it location, create. And within that schema, I'm going to have to create a new table. So I'm going to do create table and then choose standard. I already have my scripts, you know, readily available. So I'm going kind of fast and I apologize for that. So again, I'm, so I'm just creating a, a symbol country table. I got this data from uh, a GitHub. So I'm gonna go ahead and run this. And now we are gonna have to go back to our worksheet again to insert into this table. So worksheet, let's create a, a new worksheet here. And then you want to paste a bunch of insert statement, which I, again, I already have. And you want to make sure that you're a sysadmin from the drop down here and select all of it and do the play button here. And while it's running, I think we can go back to our postman to, to further configure this uh, request. So what you want to do is you want to go to your request, then to body and in the body, you want to do row and choose JSON from the drop down. Once you select a JSON, you want to go ahead and paste the following code. So this is just doing a select star from country and you want to make sure you update your database and schema with what you have named your database and schema with. Um, and another thing is you need to make sure this is capitalized. So both database location and warehouse has to be capitalized uh, when you fill in those values. All right, now we're going to go ahead and hit send. Um, so we do have a problem just saying that we just need to reauthorize again. So I'm going to go ahead and select get new access token and I'm going to have to log in here, sign in, proceed, use token. And then when we do a send again, we will get some response back and you can see all the values that we have inserted. Hopefully you guys found this video helpful. If you have, make sure to like and subscribe and don't forget to send me some coffee money in Venmo or Cash App. Talk to y'all later. Bye.